the, the doughboy has lost his giggle. So that's why we're here today. We're looking for the giggle for the, for the doughboy. All right, if you will, when I call your name, if you can come around right among these characters here, you'll have to go around this wall. And I'm going to call you one at a time. First of all, Casey Bellamy. Where's Casey? Here she comes. Give Casey a round. Come on. Casey, how in the world did you get involved with this thing? I was at my grandma's and she had a... Come on up here. Come on up here with me. No, you got to. You're, you're too deep in this now. I seen it in the newspaper and then I called this number and they called me back. Great, great. So you, it was like a preliminary giggle. Yeah. And how old are you? 13. Where do you go to school? Junction City. Where? Junction City. Junction City, okay. Are you ready? Do you, are you feel warmed up and everything? Not really. Just, <laughs> you want to get this over with, don't you? I can tell. No, All right. Arkansas. Casey, let's hear your best giggle. You ready? Is that, is that it? Yeah, that's, all. that's it? <laughs> Next is going to be uh, Jerry Gaines. <laughs> Are you warmed up and ready to giggle? <laughs> this is this is the big giggle now. This is the important one. This could be a thousand dollar giggle. You ready? That was Jerry Gaines. Next up is Terry Garibrand. Yes. <laughs> I can't now. <laughs> Somebody make a face over there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's it. Give her a big round. <laughs> Terry Garibrand. Next up is Cameron Gay. Cameron, obviously our youngest contestant. Come on around here, Cameron. Are you ready to giggle today? Are you really? All right, here we go. You ready? Give it your best giggle. That was four-year-old Cameron Gay. Now we need Gwendolyn Grisham. Grissom, I'm sorry, Grissom. Gwendolyn, give us your best giggle. Uh, I don't know if I can do it now. <laughs> uh, it's like it's not funny, y'all. Uh, Somebody make a face. Look at the judge over there. Very good. Gwendolyn Bristol. Angie McGow is up next. Are you ready? I think so. Judges, everybody ready? Here we go. Okay. Very good. All right. Barbara Shoemaker. All right. Okay, here is my laugh. Barbara, here we go. Okay. I don't see anything funny here. <laughs> <laughs> Bronza Smith, where are you? Here she comes. Here we go. Alright. 
You just let me know when you're finished. <laughs> Get it all out. All right. All right, give Bronza a big round of applause. She's still going. She's still going, okay, look. Okay. Bronzer's gonna entertain you for the next few minutes while we take a little break and the judges get their uh, votes together and we'll be right back with the grand prize winners. Coming up at the Pillsbury Kroger, great giggle off. We're gonna go uh, in order, fourth place all the way to grand prize. And fourth place is a $100 Kroger gift certificate. And that goes to Gwendolyn Grissom. That is one big check. NBC will take care of it right inside there. Third place is a $250 Kroger gift certificate, and that goes to Angie McGow. Yeah. Angie, you said you wanted groceries? There you go. All right, isn't that wonderful? All right, we're going to second place now, which is a $500 Kroger gift certificate, and that goes to Jerry Gaines. Next, we have a $750 Kroger gift certificate for first place, and then we'll announce the grand prize. The first place winner of the $750 certificate is Bronza Smith. <laughs> this, could, uh, this could be a while, so we'll just... Here's the, uh, here's the biggie, the $1,000 Kroger gift certificate, the grand prize winner is Barbara Shoemaker. Gonna giggle all day for that one. Give her a big round. Let's give all the contestants a big round. Well, listen, it's been a great day at Kroger, and thanks again to Kroger and Pillsbury for making this all happen. Yes, it's a great giggle off. We'll see you next year at Kroger. that we try to do is establish a partnership with suppliers that create an interest within our stores relative to excitement but not only that also an opportunity to advance sales and profits and we've done this program twice and on each occasion we've shown that it has done the very thing that we wanted to advance sales but more importantly create excitement in our stores the more activity you can bring to a store the more interaction you can bring to the store the funner it becomes the more business you can do 
and that's really what this is all about. How can we partner with Pillsbury and our customers to drive consumer traffic into our store and hopefully build two franchises at the same time, one for Pillsbury and one for Kroger. Yeah, the idea behind co-marketing and, and is really trying to take our relationship with the customer one step further. It's really to get out of that being a, we're selling something, you're buying something, and really how do we partner and grow our business together. The idea with the uh, Giggle Off event is really is to create some in-store excitement. Make people want to come back in this store. You know, the whole theme and the whole idea behind a Giggle Off contest is America doesn't have enough fun, they don't laugh enough. So let's try to do it on a local level, let's get some excitement in-store, let's, let's make people want to come out to the grocery store again.